Hey jazz fanatics, another great way to relate to a non-musician audience is to make jazz arrangements of tunes that they know, pop tunes. My own story is that after dancing salsa here in New York for a number of years, my friends from that community would come out and hear me play. Obviously they're interested in music, but they weren't requesting tunes from John Coltrane and Miles Davis. They might have heard the names, but they don't know the repertoire. What they were requesting were things like Beatles, Stevie Wonder, Broadway tunes, etc. So I realized if I wanted these people to keep coming back and hearing me play, I needed to create something that they could recognize, yet do it in my own style. I did balk at the request to do the Beatles' Yellow Submarine, but I did pick the Beatles' Nowhere Man for an arrangement. One, because it hadn't been done that often, and two, it's such a simple, straightforward tune, there was many directions I could take it. So here's the direction I decided upon, the recording with the lead sheet, and then we'll talk about what I did. Okay, folks, I have not figured out the screencaster or the note follower stuff, so just bear with me. And again, if you'd like a PDF of this arrangement, please email me. So basically, I took the melody and I changed the mode from a major mode, which the tune is originally in, to the Phrygian mode, which is that A flat seven flat nine sus natural six that's the phrygian sound so the original melody has to be changed in order to match the mode the original sound is but to make it phrygian it has to be and the same is true for the second phrase The second thing I did was displace the melody. Usually this melody starts right on one at the top of the form, and I delayed it by six beats after the two chords sound. I also added a two four bar just because. On the bridge, I went to a swing feel and kept the melody in the major mode. And the last thing that I did was take out the last A section because I figured two A's of the tune is enough. Now, do you think my friends came up to me after the gig and said, gosh, Russ, we really didn't like the Phrygian treatment of the melody, nor did we care for the fact that you left off the last A? Of course not. They were just happy that I would play something that they would recognize, and that also opens them up to my original compositions. So everybody wins, and of course they came back. If you have one takeaway from this lesson, please let it be that you can do pretty much anything you want as long as people can recognize the melody. And you can put your unique stamp on any given tune that people recognize as your arrangement. If you'd like a copy of the lead sheet of this arrangement, please email me at this address and please stay tuned for the next episode as I derange a Broadway tune. Until next time, this is Jazz Lab NY.